Hey, welcome to Stay In Tune TV. I'm KJ. I hope everyone is staying safe, blessed, and out the way. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I am new to YouTube, so that would definitely mean a lot to me. I look forward to bringing you guys more videos. And just looking forward to getting to know you guys and vice versa. So, um, basically, we're going to get right into these headlines. Because we don't waste time at Stay Tune TV. You know what I'm saying? We're going to bring you the info and we're going to politic about it and we're going to keep it pushing and on to the next. Um, so with that being said, TMZ is reporting on Ray J and Princess's divorce. And um, so TMZ says, according to divorce docs obtained by TMZ, Ray J is asking for joint custody of their kids and wants the judge to uphold their prenup. Ray J and Princess Love look like they're calling off their marriage once, okay twice, and for all. But this time he's making the big move. Ray J filed divorce docs Monday in LA citing irreconcilable differences, a move that comes a few months after Princess Love first filed to divorce her husband and Love and Hip Hop Hollywood co-star. So what happened? After Princess filed in May, the couple reconciled over the summer, but it obviously didn't last. As we reported, they've been living separately earlier in the year after their relationship issues culminated with a blowout fight in Las Vegas in November. Princess claimed Ray J stranded her and their daughter Melody in Sin City following the heated argument. At the time, Princess was only weeks away from having their second child. Princess gave birth to their son Epic in January, but it wasn't enough to smooth things over. And now it seems they want to be officially done so, like for real this time, for now. The couple tied the knot back in 2016 and they have two kids together. So yeah, and we're gonna get right into this next headline. So without further ado, we, uh, Oh, gosh. So we got Billboard reporting that Cardi B files for divorce from Offset after three years of marriage. Now, you know, I don't wish nothing bad on them, but I would be lying if I said that I was surprised. Um, Yeah, so Cardi B and Offset got married uh, really soon. And I'm not saying that when people get married soon, their marriages don't work. But yeah, they got married really soon. And it's not a secret that they had issues. Um, but yeah, you hope the you hope for the best. So, you know, hey, what can you say? So anyway, Billboard is reporting that Cardi B filed for divorce from Offset on Tuesday, September 15th after being married for three years, according to the Fulton County Magistrate in Georgia. The filing on Fulton County website spells out Cardi B and Offset's real name in the contested divorce case titled Belkalis Marlinis El Manazar versus Kiari Kendrell Cephas. The court documents obtained by Billboard indicate that Cardi is asking the court to award her primarily legal and physical custody of her child. Their hearing is scheduled for November 4th at 10 a.m. This comes just five days before their third anniversary. The all-star hip-hop couple's marriage certificate is dated on September 20th, 2017, according to Fulton County Court documents. They secretly married before the Migos rapper proposed to her on stage at Power 99's Powerhouse concert in Philadelphia in October. Uh, Billboard said they had reached out to both Cardi and Offset reps. Um... So they go on to say in her Vogue January 2020 cover story, the WAP hit maker explained why she stayed with Offset, despite numerous cheating scandals and fans' criticisms about her decision. Yeah, they, they was giving Cardi the flux. I ain't on front. They was giving Cardi the flux. But it just seems sometimes people just be more worried about other people's situations than they do their own. 
you know, but then again, when you're in the limelight, yeah, there is a lot that comes with. So, um, hey. So they go on to say, the Cardi said, when me and my husband got into our issues, you know, he cheated and everything. And I decided to stay with him and work together with him. A lot of people were so mad at me. A lot of women felt disappointed in me, she explained. But it's real life shit. If you love somebody and you stop being with them and you're depressed and social media is telling you not to talk to that person because he cheated, you're not really happy on the inside until you have that conversation. Then, if you get back with them, it's like, how could you? You let us all down. People that be in marriages for years, when they say to them, do us part, they're not talking about little arguments. Like, if you leave the fridge open, that's including everything. Uh, so, they go on to say that Cardi B and Offset have uh, one child together. And she's just as adorable as she wants to be. I, I really feel for the baby. I feel for the kids, all the kids in the situation. I come from um, a divorce family. Uh, my parents were divorced when I was really young. And, you know, those things are never easy to deal with for the children and for the parents. So, yes, again, I wish them the best. I wish Reggie and her family is the best. But until next time... Um, you guys stay safe, stay blessed, stay out the way. Thanks again for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will be back soon. All right, guys, have a good one.